Hello and welcome to Spreadco's video update for Thursday the 3rd of August. Tomorrow is non-farm payroll day, the uh, big important economic event on the monthly calendar. However, it's fair to say it might not be the most important event of August as we have the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium coming up at the end of the month and I think that's kind of rather going to overshadow everything else. Nevertheless, tomorrow is a big occasion, it's a big event, and uh, traders all over the place will be watching the number very carefully. The consensus expectation is for an increase in payrolls of 181,000. That would be quite a drop from last month's 222,000, but nevertheless, it's in line with the six-month rolling average, which comes in around 188,000. As a heads up, we had the ADP private payroll uh, number yesterday. That came in at 178,000, slightly down on the 187 expected, but nevertheless there was a nice chunky revision, upward revision to May's figure of 31,000. So all in all, uh, a good number and probably, although it's not the greatest predictor of non-farm payrolls, um, it's nice, it's steady. Um, we, we usually get upside surprises on the ADP rather than downside surprises that's certainly been the way of things over the last five years and so as far as the market optimists out there are concerned uh, there's nothing um, untoward uh, nothing to frighten the horses and expect tomorrow's uh, payroll figure to be okay the trouble is that non-farms are notoriously volatile and we can get a bad figure or a very good figure seemingly out of nowhere Remember that payrolls, uh, employment, is one part of the Fed's dual mandate. So maximising employment is one part of it, and also maintaining price stability is another part, is the second part of the dual mandate. Now price stability is basically inflation, looking after inflation. And this is one of the things that the Fed is really struggling to come to terms with or get to grips with at the moment. So this is one of the reasons why we're going to be watching, or traders are going to be watching very carefully for not just the headline unemployment number, which is expected to fall again down to 4.3%, meaning that you know, the, the, un the employment situation, we're effectively at full employment in the US. Uh, now, ultimately, that is expected to put some upward um, upward inflation, upward pressure on wages, but that hasn't come through yet. And this is why average earnings is going to be a big important figure tomorrow. That's expected, the monthly average earnings is expected to come up to plus 0.3% from plus 0.2%. But really the market is all about inflation at the moment. There was a big pivot from the Fed uh, in early July. Uh, the Fed went from the market thinking they weren't really very data dependent anymore, expecting the Fed to raise rates throughout the year no matter to what inflation data said and suddenly uh, Janet Yellen when she testified in Washington she turned this on, his he on its head. She said that the Fed were watching inflation very carefully and bear in mind that inflation has been trending down since January this year and she also said that the neutral stance for interest rates where they were closer to getting there than perhaps people thought. That means that people have downgraded their assessment of, where, of, the, of the Fed's target for its Fed funds rate from about 3% down to 2%. Bear in mind we're at uh, just under 1.2 for 5% uh, now. So what to watch for tomorrow? Uh, basically, if we get a strong payroll number, so something 200,000 plus, and if we get uh, a nudge up in average monthly earnings, uh, say to plus, plus port, 0.4% um, with a lower uh, unemployment rate coming in at 4.3, 4.2%, this will feed into fears that inflation is starting to pick up and then the market will seem to think that the Fed might go back to a tightening mode, become more hawkish once again. Uh, if that's the case, we might see an initial move up in equities on the better than expected data, but it could end up with a bit of a sell-off after that. The flip side is if we get some low ball numbers, then expect the market to sell off initial, initially, but then we might see it pick up later in the day. That's the idea. Who knows? We'll see tomorrow.